thing happened and whatever then you pick up the story from there uh, this incident actually uh, happened on uh, last friday okay friday morning while i was driving from uh, jalan sultan ismail heading jalan kuching there's a curve there so i uh, i heard a small bang actually small bang only and i suspect actually maybe they hit the car or whatsoever and uh, and I straight away, I, I still drive on because sometimes biasa na will chala biasa, so I don't take it. Uh, I wouldn't take it. So uh, while I was driving, so it's a jam, and then the motorist come and wave to me and say, "Hey, just now you bang me," and I hurt myself. And then show me that the motor, the front is actually uh, getar, so called mm. getar. Okay. Uh, Rosa. Rosa. Okay. So. He asked me to go and discuss in front of him. So we went to uh, Manara DBKL there, okay, parked there, and we discussed. Uh, he said, uh, how about like this, because uh, you're also rushing out of time, so we settle among ourselves. So I will claim this as a working accident, so that I can claim Sokso, my company will claim Sokso for me. Okay, so uh, you just, um, you will, you, I need you to pretend as my cousin, uh, kakak saudara. He said, yeah? Yeah, he said. Uh. I need you to pretend as my cousin so Same. that my company can claim back the money and pay back to you. I will Same thing. Uh? Yeah, I will tell my company that I borrow the money from you for my repair and the medical fees. On the spot, he called up someone to get a quotation for the motorcycle uh, accessories. He claims that around 1000 So I said that hey, I don't have such big cash in my hand, so I will just have uh, 150 here. So I give you 150 first. So uh, and then he said, oh, okay, good also, so I can tow my motorcycle to the workshop. Okay, so I didn't uh, suspect anything also. So until back to uh, my meeting place, so I transfer the 1000 as uh, noted in the note there. I transfer the 1000 to a Malay account. I did ask him, why is a Malay? So he told me that, oh, this is the, uh, this is the shop, the owner of the shop. But I didn't tell which shop. Okay. So until then, in the, uh, in the afternoon, he texted me saying that uh, his medical fees is actually already up to 670. So that makes the, the thousand or which already banked in is not sufficient. So he also said that the repair fees might cost up to two four five zero two thousand four hundred and five and fifty. So us to bank in another one thousand four hundred and fifty. Okay. But in the meantime, they will make this whole whole scenario very real. Is that there's really a girl text me saying that or oh, uh name uh Named Jialing lah, it's stated that. So saying that she is a company clerk, she and she get my bank details, and promise that we'll pay back the fund. Okay, so I also did I suspect anything still. So still bank in the one thousand and four hundred something to two different account. This time, one is uh to the Malay account before, and another to a Chinese name account. Two different account. So that ends the first part story. So the second part is that in the evening, this person texts me again. Ask for another uh, 1178, 1178, and without telling the reason. Just said, hey, you help me to pay first, so my company will pay back to you in a lump sum. So I was thinking, maybe this boy is trying to get some extra fund for his own usage. This is my first intuition. Uh, because he didn't tell me and then I tried to ask all the receipts he will not provide any receipts and just saying that oh I'm very busy now I need to go and repair my motorcycle we're giving excuses to push off and will not send any receipts from that okay so but this thousand and one I still bang in uh, because I was thinking hey, maybe uh, he maybe uh, really need the fund to go and repair so until then but what makes me curious is that he WhatsApp me call in the early morning of the Saturday, 2 a.m. Okay, so of course, as a common sense, there's no shop until open until that time, right? So he asked for another 3,000. And uh, the next morning, I woke up, I saw the message. So I refused to pay and start then, a lot of threatening message coming, including a third number is also sending, uh, sending some threatening message. What sort of threatening message? Uh, uh, they will say, uh, 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 do you think that you are a bad girl uh, because uh, people are helping you so you do something like this to a person uh, 
uh, something like that. Like mm. like that. And then they will say that, uh, do you think that, because I'm from Kedah, so the message is something like this, do you think that you still can go back to Kedah? My husband is a police. Uh, they will make a quote like this. And then I will, and they also said that I will wire this news into Facebook, into social media, and including NTV who, to who Joe. Will the news? Uh, they, who will wire the news? No, they. Uh, uh, yeah, they threatening that they will viral the news. Into yeah. NTV7 also? Uh, uh, NTV7 uh, and social media. Uh, okay. And then uh, the screenshot, uh, and then they also sent me a screenshot, which they already posted in FB, is unavailable now. So I suspect this Facebook account is a fake account as well. Okay.